to do that now as a merchant? Like, what is that, or, or a category manager at a CPG? Like, what am I now able to do that I couldn't do before because of what you guys, what you guys are putting in the market? Yeah, so a, a retailer knows a lot about what happens inside their store, right? But they don't, and, and even increasingly within their, their .com, but they don't know what's happening outside of their store. So this allows them to understand what's happening. So we'll use Walmart shoppers as an example. Sure. Walmart shoppers, how are they shopping outside of Walmart? What are they buying? And in particular, it's lighting up those use cases around dot-com purchasing. So what's a Walmart shopper doing on amazon.com? What's a Walmart pet shopper doing on chewy.com? Um, and then how do how does Walmart essentially you know attract those buyers back to Walmart for those occasions or trips? So it illuminates that shopper behavior around things like what else is in the basket, who is that shopper, right? What's their shopper profile? What's the portfolio of products that they're purchasing? Do I carry those products? And are they being driven to a dot com because it's an assortment challenge? Um, we're able to build, build shopper segments based on these, these behaviors. So it really illuminates and lights up kind of that rest of market view. And then also allows you to better understand your own shoppers as well. I mean, if, if you've got a rich loyalty data set today, it's a nice complement to that to be able to understand additional uh, context around that shopper.